Hi guys, so it's, what is today? Y'all, I'm so tired. I just drove back from Florida and it was a five hour drive. Today is whatever it says on the screen because I'm tired and I don't know what today is. My cousin Talisha got married. And I'm so happy for her. So congratulations to Talisha and Keyshawn. We love you guys. I'm vlogging on my phone by the way, so I don't know where to look. I don't remember where to look because I haven't vlogged on my phone in so long because the battery is charging. But yeah, we just got back. Uh, yeah, the wedding was yesterday. Um, so yeah, Kendra and I drove back from Florida all the way back here to Atlanta today. And like I said, it was like a five hour drive. That was my first time driving to Florida like with just Kendra and I because usually when we go to Florida to visit my uncle, we were out with my mom and my stepdad and like, like as a family trip. So I haven't had to drive alone before. And when we drove, we, Kendra and I always drive to Alabama first and then we all go from Alabama to Florida. And Alabama to Florida is a shorter drive. So yeah, I didn't realize how long it would be to drive all the way from Atlanta to Florida. To some people, a five hour road trip might not be long, but to me, it's too long because I'm not a road trip person. I can do three to four hours, but five is like cutting it for me. It was like a little too long. I know I look like a crazy bum right now. My hair is blown out from the wedding because we did our blown out waves. And she had an outside wedding, but she wanted us to have small wand curls. And I wasn't gonna flatter my hair because it was gonna be pointless because she got married in front of like a lake. And my hair would have just frizzed up anyway. So I thought if I'm gonna put heat in it, I would rather just do the blow dryer and the wand instead of doing blow dryer flat iron wand. That's a little too much. I mean, it was still pretty even when it got big, but I looked like Shaka Khan to be honest. But I mean, I wasn't mad at the big hair, but it was kind of distracting. It was gorgeous. She looked gorgeous. Her clothes were beautiful. It was just a gorgeous wedding. I'm just so, so happy for them. So yeah, I just wanted to come on here and chat with you guys really quickly. I look a hot mess. I know. I have on sweatpants and slides. So yeah. Hey guys. So it is a uh, Tuesday night and I just got done filming a video. I just got done filming a first impressions um, video on two hair products from Redken. Um, you guys will probably have already watched it by the time this vlog goes up. So it's a super quick video. Um, I think I'm gonna start doing these even though I don't know how much longer I can do these as far as curly hair products because I'm straightening my hair in October. But I'm calling it Recycle or Repurchase. First impressions and it's basically on the two Redken products that I just talked about. I'm about to get ready to take all this makeup off that I just took my time to put on. Um, and I'm gonna do a mask and um, I'm gonna edit this video. And then I'm gonna eat some dinner and watch the challenge. Yeah, I think I'm gonna watch the challenge because yeah, today's Tuesday. Oh wait, the Bobby Brown um, thing came on tonight on BET. The only reason I'm watching it is because of Woody McClain. So he's the only reason that I'm gonna be watching it because to be completely honest, I'm not really a Bobby Brown fan. I know, probably gonna watch that. I don't even know I'm gonna have time to watch it tonight because it's already 10.43, so I might have to watch that tomorrow. I'm so tempted to show y'all these beauty room chairs, but I'm not gonna show you. I wanna show you, but I can't because there won't be anything left to show, but they're so pretty. I can show you the color. Yeah, that's a compromise, right? So this is the color, even though you probably can't really tell what it is. Let me see if I can turn this light around. Okay, does that help? This is the color. This is the back of the chair, by the way. So yeah, that's all you get. Hey guys, it's Kendra. So Kelsey and I are in the restoration hardware right now. We are looking for some curtains for our house because we need some in my room, Kelsey's room, and the beauty room. Also, the living room. So four sets of curtains. So we're looking for some here, as you can see. Kelsey's starting to look at some fabric. They have so many options here and we're just trying to narrow them down. We know we want white, we know we like linen, and we know we like velvet, so we're gonna have to see. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna add up because as you know, things add up in restoration hardware or anywhere like furniture wise, when you start liking decor and things, things add up. And we're gonna go have lunch later with our friend Jay. Well, actually we're having dinner, like an early dinner, late lunch kind of kind of thing so we're gonna meet him later for that hopefully we don't get stuck in traffic 
because we're having dinner in Avalon and Restoration Hardware is in the middle of like Midtown, like Buckhead area. So we'll see how long it takes us to get there. Which one? The Brush Belgian Linen Cotton. I like this. This is nice. It's kind of like vintage velvet, but it's not as thick because this is vintage velvet right behind it. So you don't like, I like this one though. This looks like it has more texture. This looks smoother and it feels smoother. It's more buttery. I mean, no one's really gonna care about how buttery my curtains are in my room. That's I'm barely true. gonna even touch them for real. Yeah, that's true. They're for show. See, I like linen. I like this for the living room, like a, a simple linen. What's the name of this one? This is classic linen weave. Wait. It's the fabric name in the front or the back? It's behind it. You go off the first one. See, it's behind it. It makes more sense. Probably should have did that <laughs> from the beginning. It's behind it. This is a lot of linen options. I know. I like this one too, though. This one has a little bit more I detail. I like these. Yeah. I See, like the threads. This one is like thinner. You can't notice the thread as much. Yeah. This is I like this one better. better. So this one is the Italian, Italian textured weave. Okay. So I, like this. I like this one too. What this color? Is, this is I like room. white though. This looks ivory. This is a living room esque. Yeah. So this in white. Let me take a picture so we know exactly what it was. Yeah. So this for the living room. Yeah. I like this one. Okay. It's like homey. Sorry, but I see it from far away. I like to look at it from far away too. Yeah, I like this velvet one. So we're both gonna do velvet for our bedrooms. Yes. Should we do velvet for the bedroom or no? I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think that's necessary. Because the ones we used to have there kind of. They were like a suede kind of material. By the way, guys, we would use those, but they're too short. Yeah, the ones that we had in our old beauty room. Yeah, so we had to get new ones. Yeah, I love like the 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 texture. Like yeah. when it hits the light, because I have to look at it like that way too, so it don't look too flat. Okay. I don't want to have to steam. It does. It takes like five minutes. To it steam. just looks like it gets wrinkled easy. But I like the like. It has like a slight shine. It sounds to it. like it looks like a shower like curtain. No, it doesn't. Look, yes. it has a slight shine to it. I see what you're saying kind of as far as the texture and like it's kind the, of distressed a little bit too. Like the way it hits the light, but I don't. I don't like it. Fine. We have to agree. Um, this is so homey. I don't know. It looks kind of Emily Rose. Emily Rose? Yeah, I like the exorcism. Oh, I thought that. Who's Emily Rose? I don't know. It's, it's giving it's me creepy. creepy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. It's giving me creepy is. vibes. Never mind. No, thank you. <laughs> See, these are too wrinkled. Like, yeah, we gotta agree for something for the beauty room. This is classic linen. Classic? weave. This has a nice weave. I just like, you know, less is more in there for curtains. Yeah, that's true. Simple. The rest of these starting to look just alike to me. What is? It is pretty. I don't know if I want to commit to like the peanut butter color. It looks lighter on camera though. That's weird. It I is feel pretty. Like it looks lighter depending on which way you look at it even in person. See if you just like that, it's a little darker. That's true. I still feel like it'll like blend nice in your think so. Different. What's the name of it? What's the name of that one? What is it? Vintage Velvet. So the same as the so other same one? Same as the other one. It's just, it's, I don't know exactly what this color is. I don't know why I don't have the color on here. Hmm. It's so pretty, but I don't know if I want to commit. Like, what if I don't like it in a year? You acting like it's like a color color. You mean because it's neutral? It's still a neutral. But do you think it'll go in my room though? Like once you see it hanging like up? Don't you got a picture of your room on your phone?
um, today's Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, Kendra and I are on our way to an event. We're going to an Urban Decay event. Yeah, this is our first Urban Decay event here. Yeah, we've never been to one before because this is not LA and they don't have like a ton of events like every single day. I'm just glad be their fun. event here in Atlanta is like more casual. So we don't feel like we have to like dress up for this event. Yeah, that's I didn't true. feel like putting on heels today. Yeah, that's true. Hopefully there's no traffic. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be late. It's 528. It's gonna it's, be traffic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, you're right. I told you we're come gonna on. be late though. But we're gonna be late anyway. We, it's, not, it's not like we live down the street. That's true, but <laughs> we're gonna be later because of you. We're always late because of me, according to Kelsey. But I be trying. It's true. It ain't like I'm gonna be rushing. She act like I be taking my precious time. I mean, I, I can't tell you be rushing. What you mean? Your rushing is not my rushing. What do you mean? Like what? So I'm supposed to just, I can't help it. Like I can't leave the house with stuff everywhere. Like right now my vanity got makeup all over it. I usually clean it up as I'm getting ready, but I gotta clean it when I get back home. So it's really bothering me. Well, I gotta make my bed up when we get back home because I was washing my sheets and I just threw them on my bed. I didn't even make that my bed That will bother up. me. It's, I'm thinking about it right now. It's, Really driving annoying. me crazy yeah but i didn't want to be late and it take me like late either, but I worked forever out. to make you didn't my work bed. out today so because i decided i was gonna work work out when we go back tonight so i won't have to rush my workout and be late but i didn't rush my workout okay y'all just witnessing us just blaming each other for stuff and mm -hmm. it's being okay. our normal sister selves yes okay people be like do y'all fight i'd be like asking me that question again but the tea no, definitely I slept helps so good last night because i had some red wine last night. Oh yeah, I need to show you tried guys. Before I did, I tried oh to tell gosh. her don't pour that much. It's amazing. I tried to tell her don't pour that much. It was like a large sleeping pill. It's um yeah, it does help you go to sleep faster. Relax. It's mm -hmm. we got it from Whole Foods. It's a blueberry red wine. I can't remember. I can't believe I like the red brand. wine now. What was it called? Flannel something. Berries. Flannel. I don't know. Berry flannel. So wrong. I'll show it to you guys when we get back home. I didn't throw the bottle away, did I? No, I left it on the counter. I'll show you guys the bottom when we get back home. Um, it's so, so good. I'm gonna start buying that one when we um, go to Whole Foods because I like white, but the only white wine I really like is Moscato. I can't- So technically you don't like white, you just like Moscato. Yeah, that's true. Oh, and I like Rosé. Yes, we love Rosé. Yeah, I'm becoming a red wine drinker and I like Rosé. Mm -hmm. And I only like Moscato white. All the other whites are just nasty to me. Yeah, most of them drink. Like, I don't see how you drink Chardonnay. I love I really Chardonnay. Like I love buttery. I always yeah. ask, is it buttery or is it bitter? Because if it's more bitter, yeah. then I don't want it. More than half of the whites that I've ordered at a restaurant, I have not liked. That's not Moscato. That's not Moscato, exactly. Gotcha. So I, I'm like, if you is don't got Moscato. Is that why you eating at Coletta so much? Because they like one of the only restaurants that have Moscato. I like eating at Coletta because the food is good. Well, obviously. <laughs> but um, yeah, if but they don't have restaurants, my... most restaurants don't have. Oh my gosh, you look like an angel glare over my head lord <laughs> um, most yeah. restaurants don't have moscato so that's, yeah, that's why true i, I like had to buy me a second white choice that i like and i like chardonnay So this is the wine. It's empty because we finished it. We only got one because we wanted to see how we liked it. But this is the brand. It's a sweet blueberry wine. So this is the other red that we've been liking. Right here, the Menage Trois California red wine. So that's the one we really like. Oh, and by the way, the Menage Trois Moscato is really good too, right here. Because we usually only drink cupcake Moscato or we drink the Moscato, what's the blue bottle? The Diasti something. Hi guys, so it's Sunday morning. Well, afternoon. Sorry the lighting is getting like bright. It gets bright whenever there's like sunlight and I have to fix the setting and I don't know how to fix the setting. So I have to keep like tapping it for it to like calm down. What are you focusing on? Um, but right now I'm just editing this vlog. I'm kind of in a little bit of a annoyed mood because I got some new chairs in for my bedroom. 
they're like a green color and I'm gonna have to return them because they're not very comfortable which is kind of disappointing and when I got chairs for my room I told myself I wanted them to be comfortable and like like a chill space I don't want them just to be for show chairs you know or like sitting room chairs in like a doctor's office or something I want them to be like really comfortable and these chairs are not very comfortable which is kind of annoying so I'm going to have to return them um, so I'm just waiting on Justin Maine to call me to set up a, a date where I can come pick them up because um, that's where I got the chairs from like they're really pretty chairs like I'll insert a clip here they're really pretty chairs but they're just not comfortable enough um, and I wanted to do something different so I went with green but it was just it's just a fail so I'm just gonna go um, with the neutral um, I would continue to try to look for like a green chair that's like more comfortable but those are the only ones I found online that I really liked um, but they're not comfortable so I'm just gonna have to scratch my idea of a pop of color with the chairs and just find a neutral color chair well two neutral color chairs that are comfortable so I think I might have to go a Pottery Barn or either Restoration Hardware. <laughs> this is what happens when you're shopping and decorating. Sometimes things just aren't what you thought they would be, but it's not even how they looked, it's the comfort of them in this case. They weren't very comfortable. That kind of sucks because we've usually had really good luck with ordering like big furniture pieces and they came and they're super comfortable. Like our beauty room chairs are like, not beauty room, well our beauty room chairs are comfortable too. I showed you guys like a, a little sneak peek, but our office chairs are extremely comfortable and they're from z gallery but we got those custom and they took like three months to come they're like black i'll just let you guys see them in the house tour so but other than that everything else is coming together gorgeously and i'm happy with the results i'm thinking about getting a couch like kendra i don't know see i'm just so indecisive because kendra got a couch from pottery barn um he's supposed to get here in like the next maybe like two and a half weeks maybe so I don't know. I'm just, my mind is like all over the place right now. Kind of like this camera lighting all over the place. So yeah, I'm just gonna edit this vlog. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, like